just turning on my Instagram and my Facebooks. All right, should be up and ready to go. Okay, hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to my Wednesday workout. Um, I normally do a workout in the morning, so I call it warm-ups, Wednesday warm-ups and mobility. Um, I didn't get a chance to do one this morning, so I'm doing one now. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is, still we're gonna be doing some mobility work. Of course, we're gonna warm up before our training session. And we're gonna do some Pio. So it'll be a little bit of yoga, um, some stretching, flexibility work, mobility work to get the joints moving, and a little bit of core as well. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. Thanks for coming on, you guys. Oh, hey, Flory. Hi, Granny. All right. Okay, let's get started. You can do this barefoot or with shoes on. It's your choice. Um, you can have a mat. So if you have a yoga mat, make sure you are using it now. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's okay. You can always keep your shoes on, all right? And then just do it on whatever surface that you have under you. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna start with our feet together. We're gonna roll the shoulders up, back, and around. So this is what I normally do in my Wednesday warm-up and mobility class. Okay, so we're gonna see some of the same movements. It'll just be a little more flowy today or tonight. All right, hopefully you guys are doing good. You had a nice day. Reach up, interlace your fingers, push your palms to the sky, stretch, and take a couple of side bends. Nice and easy, side to side, pushing your hips to one side as you take your upper body to the opposite side. Okay, side to side. Side to side, hi. Take your hands behind your back. All right, interlace your fingers behind your back. Open your chest, look up. Take a deep breath here. Deep breath. All right, and then back to center. Bring your arms around. Okay, look behind you as you bring your shoulder around. You can do this with me, Lucy, if you want to. Stop doing that. Come on, get up, stand right here next to me. <laughs> she just did two and a half hours of dance. So, I would think she's tired, but she doesn't look very tired. <laughs> All right, open your feet a little bit wider so they're about um, at least hip distance apart, shoulder distance apart, or maybe a little bit wider. Okay, and we're gonna take our body side to side. We're gonna rotate. No, where's your little ones? I don't want you using those. Rotate your body side to side. Be careful. All right, you got your pink weights. Now take your arms across Mom, your chest. Are, are we doing weights today? And now just take your torso Mom, side to side. Are we doing weights today? No, we're not doing weights today, baby. We'll do weights. Maybe we'll do weights tomorrow. Okay? Now take your opposite arm on top and swing side to side. Side to side. All right. Both arms up. Another big deep breath. And then exhale. Cactus your elbows. Arch your back. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Fold forward, reach for your toes. If you're not able to touch the floor, place your hands onto your shins or your ankles, okay? Otherwise, fingers are on the ground. Now, pedal out your feet, bend one knee and straighten the other side. Hi, Granny! <laughs> Push your, keep the balls of your feet on the floor and just lift your heels. Nice and easy, one at a time. Kind of like if you're um, marching in place or something. But you keep the balls of the feet on the ground. Okay? Now, widen your stance. Let's squat down. Hey, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. You'll see, you're gonna hurt yourself. Come into a sumo squat. Oh, you got a line. Sumo squat or malasana squat. Okay? Reach up. Look, Granny, I got a line. Let's see, not so loud. Not too close either, because then they can't they can't see you that way. Reach up, twist, reach up, twist. Make sure your other hand is on the inside of your leg. Your elbow's on the inside of your leg. Don't do that anymore. You're gonna break the tree. You're gonna make it sad. Stretch here. Mama, how it's gonna make sad. Come back down, you're gonna give the tree an owie. No, oh, if you're gonna do my stuff, do it right here next to me, because they have to see me. And again, twist. 
and twist. Don't put that. I need that for the Mommy. class. That's my timer, baby. I need it. Stretch. What time are you spinning? On a little bit. Okay, widen your stance. Bend your knees a little bit. Place your hands on your hips. Lift yourself up. Good. So you're in a nice wide straddle. Okay, you're going to shift your body weight side to side. Side to side. Are you going to take a nap? What are you doing? You didn't take a nap earlier, stinker. You take a nap now. Side to side. I'm just waiting like a cat. Okay, well, wait like a cat back there. Don't do that over there. Okay, hold it on one side. All the way down if you can, or as low as what's comfortable for you. Then change, other side. All the way down if you can. All right, so obviously I don't have any music right now, so if you wanna put some music on, you can. Okay, now bend your knees, push your knees out with your elbows. All right, so in a real class, I would have music on and we would kind of do the movements to the music. Okay, but right now, we're just keeping it basic with the moves. All right, going back and forth. Stretch, bend your knees, come all the way up. All right, bring your feet together again. We're gonna do another side bend into a back bend, okay? So we're gonna reach up, interlace your fingers, Release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. This is called our half moon. We've done this before in my yoga class. You're gonna reach up, lift up, point your fingers to the sky, inhale. Exhale, big side bend. Big side bend. Lift your chin, push your hips to the opposite side. And lift up, reach up again. Big deep breath, guys. And exhale over. Pushing your hips to the side. Good. And up now from here, we're gonna go into a back bend. Lift up, look up, take a big deep breath. And exhale, big back bend. Reach up, look up, lean back, squeeze your butt. And then come down, forward fold. Okay, now walk yourself to plank position. Come to a plank position. From here, we're gonna take our knee to the floor. So take one knee down to the ground. You're gonna open up to a side plank. Modified side plank. So try to get your knee, your hand, your knee, and your foot in a straight line. So try not to have your foot back here on the, out, on the side. Bring it in. So it's in line with your opposite foot. Yeah, just like that. Good job, baby. Yeah. No, 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 reach in the sky. Yeah, reach for the sky. Yeah. Tell them, reach for the sky. Reach for the sky. Without yelling. Too loud. Okay, reach face for the, the sky. Face the floor. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Put your other knee down. Line up your hand with your knee and your foot. And then open up. So your whole body should be facing the side of the room. Oh, careful whole body facing the side. Remember, watch that. Watch the inside foot. Make sure it's not out here. Okay? I'm going to bring it in so it's in line with your other one. Ah. Okay, you're still reaching. All right, and back to center. Watch out. All right, hands and knee position. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Okay? Like a cat. Like a kitty. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Keep going with that. Round arching your back. Uh -huh. All right, and then sit back. Reach forward with both hands. Palms facing the sky. Palms up and press your arm, press your underarms down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay, come up. We're gonna go into thread the needle. Take one arm out, thread it through the space between your hand and your knee. Reach up. Okay, and twist. Look up at your hand that's reaching to the sky. 
you breathe. Careful with the wires. Come up, do the same thing on the other side. Be careful with those, baby. I don't want them to fall on your feet. The big ones, be careful. Opposite side, so opposite ear on the floor. Reaching up, looking up at your hand. Thank you. No, no, no. She really wants us to use weights tonight. All right, and then back to center. Okay, I'll use those later, okay? Come up into a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Down dog. Press your heels down into the floor one at a time. Pedal out your feet. Okay, let's see. Who's there? Hold your down dog. Keep pedaling your feet out. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Lynn. All right, so we're gonna go back to your down dog. No. Now you're gonna bring one knee in, you're gonna come forward to plank, bring your knee in, and then take it back to down dog. Bring your knee in, so here's a little bit of core training for you. Okay, knee to chest, hips down, so from the side. Okay, we look something like this, here, and back. And here, and back. All right, from here, you're going to bend your knees, push your hips back, and then straighten your legs, down dog. Bend your knees, and then straight legs. Keep going with that, so that's a bear pose to a down dog, okay? So again, bear into down dog. All right, so from here, let's lift one leg up, nice and high. Point your toes, bend your knee. You're doing like a scorpion tail with your leg. Okay, and then you're gonna bring it all the way through. Straighten the leg on the side and sit the hips down. Then lift the hips back up. Take the leg back up to scorpion and then bring it all the way through to the side, to the opposite side, push the hips down. We're gonna add on. Lift your leg, bend your knee, point your toes. This time we're gonna go, we're gonna go flip all the way over, come down, hips are down, then lift your hips up, reach up and over. Come down, lift up, one more, come down, lift up, now flip back to your down dog and hold it here. Okay, same thing on the other side. Lift your opposite leg up, point your toes, bend your knees, scorpion tail, open your hip, and then come forward, take your leg to the side, bring the hips down, lift the hips, take the leg back up, again, scorpion tail, here. All right, straighten the leg, bring it through, take it to the side, hips down and up. This time we'll flip over, reach up, bend the knee, open the hip. Now flip, hips to the ground, inhale, exhale, reach up and lean back. And again, all the way up and back. So you're really arching your spine, guys. One more. Good. Now face the floor. Back to your down dog. Whew. Knees to the ground and sit back. Rest for a few seconds. If you want to get some water, go ahead and get some. Okay. And then we'll move on to the next section of our class. All right. So if you want to hear some music, join me tomorrow night. I'll be on again at 6 p.m. with Group Fitness Live. All right, so go to groupfitnesslive.com and check out all our stuff that we have on there. I'm there on Tuesday, um, Thursday nights at 6 and Monday mornings at 7 with music, just like a real class, guys. All right, step forward with one foot. Push your hips forward. 
your other hand is on the floor, opposite hand on the floor, or some of you can take both hands to the floor depending on how flexible you're feeling right now. Otherwise, you can have your hand on your knee, okay? And you can come up on your knuckles or on your fingertips, whatever works for you. Now from here, you're gonna push your knee to the outside just a little bit, not too much, don't, don't force anything. Then back to center and stretch back. Straighten your front leg. Come forward, push the hips forward first. Open the hip a little bit, as much as you can. You can come onto the side of your foot, so you're on the outside of your foot. Then sit back. Okay, so I'll show you from side angle. So it looks like this. So first I'm, hint I'm pushing my hips forward, kind of like a runner's lunge, but my back leg is on the ground. Then I'm gonna open my hip here, so I'm on the side of my foot, okay? And then back to center and shift back so I get the hamstring stretch. Okay, same thing on your other leg. Big step forward. Again, opposite hand on the floor or come up on your knuckles or your fingertips. Other hand on your knee for support or both hands to the floor. So lots of options here, guys. Okay, it's all gonna depend on your body and how you're feeling at the moment. And also, of course, the level of flexibility or your level of flexibility. So if you're not very flexible, that's okay. You can always use um, like a block or put something under your hand to kind of elevate you. And that helps out. So you don't have to strain yourself to touch the floor. Now gently push your knee out, coming onto the side of the foot, then back to center, shift your weight back, straighten your front leg. So you should be feeling the stretch in the back of your front leg right now. So that's our hamstring stretch. Okay, come forward, push your hips forward. Gently press the knee out, coming onto the side of your foot or the blade of your foot. For those of you that used to do turbo. Okay, sit back. The outside of your foot sometimes is referred to as the blade of your foot. But you don't really need to know that. Okay, come forward again and push it out. And then back to center, stretch back last time. All right. And to the floor. We'll do our full scorpion here. Take your arms out like this, palms down, bend one knee, lift your leg, take it up and over, scorpion stretch. You're going into a back bend. Back to center. So other side, same thing. Supporting yourself with your other, with both hands actually. Back to the middle. Okay, we'll do it again. Up and over. Try and get your foot all the way to the floor, guys, and breathe. And change sides. All right, back to the middle. Place your hands on the floor. Lift your chest. Lengthen your neck. Look up. Squeeze your butt and come down and again press into the ground lift yourself up squeeze your butt lengthen your neck and down one more time up good and down now come on up sit your hips back stretch okay let's come back to plank position all right, and let's do a set of mountain climbers. Bring your knees in one at a time, really slow, nice and slow. So control your body, hold your body steady, keep going so your back should be nice and flat. Okay, your arms are strong on the floor, your abs are tight, you're bringing one knee in at a time and you're moving very slowly, tightening your stomach, Keeping your hip bones facing the ground. Keep going. 
Now open the hip. Take it to the outside of the knee, or I'm sorry, outside of the elbow, and look at your knee. Look at it, put it back. Look at it, put it back. Keep going. So now you're just opening the hip, still doing a mountain climber motion, okay? If that hurts your hands or your wrists, guys, you can always come down to your forearms and do it like this, okay? Here. So I call this one the army crawl. Right? That's if it bothers your hands. Lucy, can you move over, please? Okay, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stop right where you are. Come down to your knees, sit your hips back again, child pose, this time with your palms on the ground and your knees separated. So bring your big toes to touch, separate your knees, stretch forward, reach towards the front of your mat. Try to keep your elbows off the ground. Okay, your phone's in my bag. But you can't put it loud, because then they're gonna hear it and then they won't hear my voice, okay? Come back to the knees. All right, take a little water break, guys. Sorry. should be right here. Oh, here it is. Okay, don't put it too loud. You gotta sit way in the back, okay? Wait! Wait, like right no, no, no. Over there, in the corner. Alright, so now we're gonna stand up. Okay, go ahead and stand up with me, please. Take a nice wide stance again. This time our feet are turned out. So your feet are turned out to the corners of your space. Alright, you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna come into a plie and then lift up. Plie and lift up. Now touch the floor and stand. Touch the floor and stand. Try not to round over. Okay, so you wanna try to keep your back as straight as you can. You lean forward slightly from your hips to touch the ground. Okay, now no more touching the ground. Just hold it down. Okay, now be careful your butt's not sticking way out. Tuck your tailbone under just a little bit. Tighten your stomach. Stay down in what we call that horse stance and shift side to side. Side to side. Keeping your knees or keeping your hips down. Okay, so your knees are bent the whole time. Of course, the lower you go, the more, the wider you make your feet the harder it's gonna be. So if you want more of a challenge, widen your stance, drop your butt lower, okay? Keep going side to side, side to side. Now we're gonna stay on one side. We're gonna turn all the way to a runner's lunge. One hand on the ground, reach up and twist. Then twist the opposite direction, twist towards the front. Good, then come all the way up. Reach up and lean back. Your back heel is off the floor. Okay, and down. Change to the other side. Runner's lunge. You're gonna twist to the back. Reach up. Then twist towards the front. Reach up. Then come all the way up. Reach up and lean back, lift up. Good. Try it again, one more time on each side. Face the first side that you did. Runner's lunge, reach up. Twist to the front. Lift all the way up. Reach up, lean back. And change sides. Right away into the other side. Push the hips down, twist towards the back of your space. Then reach up. Twisting towards the front, then all the way up. Reach up, lean back, stretch, reach. Good, and then hold center, turning the feet out, coming back to the horse stance, and shift side to side. Now this time, lift one heel. So whatever side you're going to, you're going to lift that heel up. So I'm going to my right. 
I'm gonna lift my right heel. Going to my left, I'm gonna lift my left heel. Without leaning forward. So keep your back nice and straight. Okay, all right, and then come back to center. Stay right here, shake out the legs. All right, now that we're standing, bring one knee into your chest. So we'll do a knee hug. Okay, you're gonna bring your knee into your chest. Stand up straight, balance, and then switch. Pull your knee in all the way up to your chest without hunching over. Okay, so you want perfect posture. Ooh. And if you're barefoot, it's gonna be a little bit harder than with shoes on. Okay, switch again. Keep switching one more time each side. Everybody. Good job, guys. One more. Ooh. Okay, from here do some knee circles or hip circles really because you're rotating your hip joint. Take it around and down, around and down. And then we'll do a balance, another balance exercise. Okay, one more. All right, now reach your arms up to the sky. Again, we're going to interlace the fingers, release your index fingers, and cross your thumbs. So just like we did when we did the half moon, all right, I want your arms, your hands the same way. So keep your biceps right on the outside of your ears. This is called pencil stretch, okay, or it's a variation of a warrior three. So you're going to step forward with one foot, Point your other toe behind you, toe on the floor, lift up, lean back a little bit. So I'm already arching my back slightly. Pull your stomach in, inhale. As you exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Reach your hands as far forward as you can and stretch your leg to the back. Hold it there. So imagine someone is pulling your foot to the back and pulling your hands towards the front of the room so you're elongating your whole body. Look straight down at the floor, keep those arms up, biceps around the ears, and stand. Good, keep your arms over your head. Don't, don't rest your arms yet. Not yet, almost. Okay, same thing on the other side. Step forward, put the weight in the front leg, big toe touching the floor in the back. Inhale, look up, lift up. Exhale, hinge from your hips. And remember, biceps around your ears, arms are straight, leg is straight or as straight as you can get it. And hold, stretch, reach, 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 and come up. All right, now you can bring your arms down, roll your shoulders. All right, so that's a really good one to practice, especially keeping your arms over your head. It will get your heart rate up a little bit. Okay. So your arms sometimes will get tired from doing that, just from having your shoulders in this position. Okay, next up, what am I gonna do? Now I forgot. Oh, okay. We're gonna go into another balance pose. Okay, oh, first let's do our arms. Do eagle wrap. So you're gonna take one arm under, the other arm on top, okay, cross your elbows. Then bend your arms, grab your hands. If you're not able to grab your hands, you can grab opposite shoulders. Okay, grab your hands here. Now from here, you're gonna lift your elbows up as high as you can without hurting yourself, and then down. Okay, so from the side, you're lifting up and down. Lifting up and down. So this is just to stretch the shoulders and the upper back. Okay, one more up and down. Okay, release and do the same thing on the other side. So now put your other arm under and the one over. Okay, cross your elbows. Bend your elbows now and grab your hands. So if you cannot grab your hands, grab opposite shoulders. So like you're giving yourself a really tight hug. And breathe. 
lift your arms up and then elbows down. So elbows up, elbows down. And your back stays straight. We're not leaning backwards. We're just lifting our arms up and down. Okay, and then release, rest. Roll the shoulders back. All right, so we did a forward or slightly rounded position. Now we're gonna do a counter pose. We're gonna open the chest, okay, and open the front of the shoulders. So now you're gonna take your hands behind your back. You're going to interlace your fingers behind your back. Okay, so just like this, okay, but behind you, so you're here. Okay, now push your knuckles down towards the floor and try to keep your hands together. So try to keep your hands and your wrists together tightly. Squeeze them together and just press down. And then look up, do a little back bend. Reach your hands straight down towards the floor. Not back, but straight down. And then up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open your heart. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Lift up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Open the chest. And down. Release. We're going to do that same thing one more time, but you're going to put your opposite hands or opposite fingers crossed. Okay, so for me, this is comfortable. This way is awkward, does not feel comfortable, okay? So do your non or your not so comfortable side. So check it. Okay, right now I'm in my comfort zone. I'm going to recross my fingers and do the same thing here. So this is a little bit harder for me to keep my hands together and my wrists together because of the way my fingers are crossed. So you may have that issue or you may not, it's okay. Actually, it's better if you don't. All right, now push your knuckles down towards the floor, straight down, straight down, look up. Squeeze your shoulders together, lift, 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 lift high. And down, rest. Keep squeezing your hands together, keep pushing your knuckles down towards the floor. And again, lift, lift. Okay, and release. Shake out your hands. Roll the shoulders. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done, okay? You're you doing okay? Yeah? Alright, let's come back to the floor, everybody. We're gonna do just a little more core work, okay? A little bit of um, side planks. You're gonna come onto your side. You're gonna rest on one elbow. Your opposite, or I'm sorry, your bottom knee can be bent. So if you want to do a modified version like this, you can. All right, otherwise, both legs straight, hips are all the way up. So you do what works for you, okay? If maybe you already worked out today, or if you're sore, okay? Or if you haven't worked out in a while, you might want to do the modification with me. Otherwise, straight legs, okay? Reach up with your opposite arm. We're gonna rotate. We're gonna rotate, face the floor, and then reach up. Again, rotate, make your torso, make your chest face the floor, and reach up. We're gonna do five on each side, so that was two. Rotate slowly. Up three, two more. Four. One more time, everybody. Five. Okay, come down. Transition to your other side. So same thing here. You're on your elbow. Make sure your elbow is right underneath your shoulder and your neck is lengthened. So be careful you're not shrugging your shoulders like this. Okay, lift up. Bottom leg can be bent or both legs straight. Up to you. Lift up. All right, so remember if you want to work a little bit harder, get both of your legs straight. Reach up with your opposite arm. Rotate, face the floor, nice and slow. And then reach up, look up at your hand. Keep your hips lifted, gang. Rotate. And reach up. Good. Rotate. And reach. Two more times, everybody. 
get into reach. And one more to finish off. And reach up. Good, hips down, come all the way to the floor. All right, have a seat here like this in our 90-90 position. So 90 degree bend at the knee and the hip. All right, and then we're gonna, so I'm gonna face the corner. You can have your hands behind your back, change legs. So put your other leg in front, the other one in back, okay? So just go side to side, from one side to the other side. If you can do it with no hands, Try to do it with no hands and keep your feet on the floor. Okay, that's really gonna get into those hips. Internally and externally rotating the hips. One more, we're gonna hold here. Okay, take your hands behind you, lean forward. Then fingers back, lean back, look up. Do it again, lean forward. Lean back. One more time. Arms go back, abs are in. Lean back. Change sides. Same thing on this side. Come forward first. Lean forward. Arms go back. Then fingers on the floor. Lean back. Look up. And again, hinge forward. It doesn't have to be very big. And lift up. One more. And up. All right, cross your feet in front. Sit up straight. Roll the shoulders. So that's all we're doing tonight, guys. Okay, keeping it pretty um, simple, I think. No complicated choreography tonight. Circle your head around. So any of these exercises can be done at any time of the day. In the morning, at night, um, before your workout or even after your workout. Okay, roll the shoulders again, side bend. And you don't even have to do everything that we did. Maybe just pick a couple of things that you feel, that you felt really good with, that your body, that you felt like your body needed, and do those exercises. Okay, side bend. All right, take a big deep breath, everyone. Reach to the sky. Palms together. Exhale, hands down in front of your heart. Thank you, everyone, for joining me tonight. Hope to see you again soon. Remember to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, Alex Fit Mommy 3 And if you want to join me on Group Fitness Live or send me any tips or donations, my links are all up on my YouTube channel. Okay, thanks, guys. See you later.